Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Jessica Andrade, it was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John, and she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around the waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 145 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Great for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, here's the decorated former UFC strawweight champion, Jessica Andrade, one of the winningest fighters in women's mixed martial arts history. I would argue she's going to end up in the UFC. Oh. oh, this could do it. She was expectant that these takedown attempts would come in bunches. There's the first one, DC, and she's able to stay upright. As you would expect, she is a phenomenal mixed martial artist. She knew that she had an ability to defend takedowns. She has shown that now. Look for her confidence to go through the roof. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, she's got that Kimura. Got a big tight. Wow, I thought she might succumb. She gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. All right, right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight hitting finish for Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. over three minutes to go. Uh, watch the, the, the arm bar going up. Ooh, arms in tight. Fight IQ on full display. 
This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she kept the dominant position. Let's work. We scared you up. We need to work. Turns back in full mount. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position. She is so dominant from the top position. Andraj is back in full goal. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Dern's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Under two minutes to go here in round one. All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet, and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high-level grappling that these two women just exhibited for them. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Andrade. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. She's got her back now. She's going for the rear naked choke here. Ooh, she's got a rear naked choke, and it's tight. Ooh, she's able to slip out. She gets mounted, but she got out. Yeah, she's mounted, but it's better than getting choked out right there with the rear naked choke. Great submission defense on this play by this young lady. All right, so she lands another ground and pound strike here. We'll see if she can keep this activity up moving forward. She's got to put a little more out there because now she knows that she can land. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. Oh, she's working hard for the armbar. That is tight. Oh, how about that? Position over submission, probably a good decision there. Final seconds here. <laughs> Round two is next. All right, heading back to the corner, and Dern's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Now the jab gets through. Man, how crisp DC is this boxing on Jessica Andrade. So loyal when it comes to her original head coach, Guillard Parana, and he has got to like what he sees out of his student here tonight. Takedown defense is there. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a come by. Oh, strong kick to the body by her there. Wow. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Absolute warriors. Well, hard to see 
see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you gotta protect it. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Oh, another one. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Oh, beautiful slip by her there. She seems to have this acute awareness of not where the strike is being thrown necessarily, but where it's going to end up. Where it's going to end up, she knows where she does not need to be. So when her opponent throws, Right at the chin, she moves very slightly to avoid those strikes. If she stands still, she would eat a ton of damage. She'd take a ton of damage, but she is never where her opponent intended for her to be. And she misses with the left punch there. That hook was bad. Well, that's takedown defense 101. She steps yet another shot right there. We told you off the top if she could stay upright, probably was going to be her fight to lose. And she's fighting really well because she understands that she holds the advantage in the stand, in the strike. That is her room. Although she's very balanced, she is a better striker than this Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. And by staying upright, by defending takedowns, she is able to prove that. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh! Gotta keep pressing, she's got to hurt, got to look for the finish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good jab. They continue to exchange. Oh, that hook landed for her. Fighter blocks the punch. to go in the second round. Well, her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This one looked like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish her. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. She's stepping over the ball here. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, that is the end of the round. Dern's corner is going to have to take a look at that lip. It got cut in that round. It is starting to bleed profusely, and you got to think that could give her problems as its fight continues. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. So great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output?
foot, just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown be? Nice job by her there to block that shot. Andrade gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, nice takedown defense. Nice body shot. Those body shots are nasty. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. She gets in very close and gets to the single call time. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. You gotta be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far, so good for her here in this round. Single. Dern's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce is tight. Nice job by the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt on Josh to get out for now. Nice transition. Andrade has got full mount now. Well, no surprise that eventually we would see some visible damage swelling now after that big ground strike. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Well, we're becoming a broken record. Another ground strike landed by her there. Dern's back in half guard. And now she's in mode. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. And now she has her back. Well, we're not close to a stoppage, but every time that area in the eye gets hit, it's getting bloodier by the minute. Yeah, it gets bloodier by the minute, and you start to worry, because you can only take these types of shots for so long before it gets to a point where you're just in very, very big danger. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Andrade is in half guard now. Now she's in full mount. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land. She's setting up an arm bar. Oh, she's got it locked in tight. All right, so now she chooses to bail on the submission, preferring to maintain a dominant position. Very smart. It was a wise decision. And you could see her fight IQ on display there, not giving up the position to try to chase a submission. Man, she's making this look like a training session in terms of the grappling, the takedowns, the ground control, just in her element tonight. I mean, it's ideal. Everything to this point has been ideal. That doesn't happen much in fighting. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Ooh, that looks tight. Oh, Takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. What an atmosphere inside this arena, standing room only, and man, did they get a treat as she gets a huge win, and by submission, no less. What a moment. She locked it in, John. She locked in that submission and got her opponent to tap. It was an amazing performance by this young lady, and you can see her rounding into her final form, the fighter that we've expected her to be for a really long time. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. To claim the winner by tap out, Mackenzie Dunn! Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside looking. I mean, John, I got you. We're going in together. <laughs> I'm not going in without my partner, but man, She's a great grappler. She understands positioning so well, and she knows the moment her opponent got out of position, she was able to attack her finish. Great job, great performance. I don't have enough words to say congratulations to this young lady.